Hey everyone, welcome to Sully Tutorials. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a trending speed video effect using 53 video clips in Filmora 14. So, let's dive right in. To get started with this trending template, we need 53 video clips and one music track. If you want to follow along, you can download all of them for free from the link in the description. First, I'm going to add the music to the timeline. Now, I'll manually detect the beats of the music and add a marker for each beat. Once the markers are placed, we'll double check to make sure they're in the right spots by listening to the track again. Okay, everything looks good. The markers are synced with the beats. Now let's start adding our video clips to the timeline. We need to set the project's aspect ratio. In the project settings, I'll choose match to media. Next, I'll switch to layout mode and select the short video layout that works best for this project. Now I'll split each video clip according to the beat markers like this and delete the extra footage. I'll repeat this process for all the clips, just drag and drop them onto the timeline, split them at each beat and remove the unnecessary parts. For clip number 38, we're going to create a cool split screen effect. To do that, I'll head over to the template section, select split screen, and choose a layout from the basic section. I'm going with split screen 6, so I'll drag and drop that onto the timeline. Next, I'll adjust the split screen by aligning it with the next beat in the music, and I'll remove any extra parts. Then, I'll double click on the split screen to open up the settings. In the basic section, I'll turn off the border toggle. Now, it's time to add clip number 38 into each of the three boxes in the split screen. I'll drag and drop the clip from the media tab into each box. To adjust the positioning, I'll go to the split screen adjustment settings. For the left box, I'll select the video and use the transform tool to adjust its position. The middle video is already perfectly aligned, so I'll leave that as is. For the right video, I'll do the same and adjust its position to fit just right. Once we've made these adjustments, the video clips in all three boxes are perfectly aligned. Now just click apply to save these settings. Next, we need to add an effect to the split screen. Head over to the Effects tab, click on it, and search for the Flash White One effect. Drag and drop it onto the track above the split screen. Don't forget to trim any extra part of the effect that's not needed. Now let's add some animation to the split screen. Double click on the split screen, then click on the Animation section in the video panel. From there, choose the preset motions and scroll down to find the zoom out one animation. Apply it. And that's looking great.
Now, I'll repeat the process for the rest of the video clips. Just drag and drop them onto the timeline, split each one with the beat markers, and make sure everything is synced up with the music. For the last video clip, double click on it, go to the animation section, and choose preset animations, then select the fade out animation. You can adjust the duration of the animation by tweaking the gap between the keyframes. Finally, it's time to apply the transitions. I'll start by adding transitions to the first five clips in the project. Go to the Transitions tab, click on it, and search for the Flash Zoom Out transition. Drag and drop it between the first two video clips, then, set the transition duration. To apply this transition to the other four video clips, use the shortcut CTRL plus C to copy the transition, and then select the remaining clips and press CTRL plus V, the same transition will be pasted between them. Next let's find another transition. This one is called Explosion Flash. Drag and drop this transition at the end of the split screen. For the rest of the video clips at the end of the project, I'll use the same Flash Zoom Out transition. To do this just copy the transition from earlier with CTRL plus C, then select all the clips at the end and paste it with CTRL plus V. And that's it! Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more tutorials coming soon. Bye for now!